this little tutorial will be about how to do each of the different Photoshop techniques. The first one that we're looking at right here, this example is just simply using the elliptical marquee tool as a selection tool and then cutting out, you know, making it look the oval shape instead of a square. The second technique that we're going to look at is the same beginning part using the elliptical marquee tool but then also adding this feather effect kind of fading out your edges and then the third tool that we are going to look at is the clone stamping tool and this is where you can kind of create like a painted effect with your photos okay so those are the three techniques that we're going to look at as i showed you before this technique here i just applied what we learned with the elliptical marquee tool but this time i used the rectangle marquee tool so you'll be able to infer your how that's done after you see this lesson or after you do this lesson. So first thing you should do is you should have your image opened in Photoshop and if you aren't here yet you're just gonna go file, open, go find your image and then it'll open up. Now some of you your image might come in sideways like mine has um, and if that is the case then all you're going to do is first go image, image rotation, and then you're going to need to move it whichever way it needs to go. So mine needs to go 90 degrees counterclockwise. And when I do that, it's going to go back upright. And you might have to click a few times if you didn't get it right the first time, but that's okay. Okay. There are a couple of things that we need to do to kind of set up our document before we start editing it. And you'll have to do this with each picture. Okay. The first thing that you need to do is turn on the ruler to see how large your app image actually is. Uh, Photoshop or iPhone images come in a lot larger than you'd think they would. So to look at the size, you're going to hit Control R. So Control R, and that gets us our rulers. So this is in inches. So my image, and this was taken with my iPhone, it is 40. 2 ish inches wide and 50 some inches tall. That's a big image, okay? And this is on a website, so we don't need it to be this large. And we're going to actually scale it down. And it's important that you do this step because when we get to the clone stamping, especially, it makes a difference on how big your, in, in knowing how big your image actually was. So we're going to go ahead and scale this down to just like a 5 by 7. So to do that, we're going to go image. image size you could also use the keyboard shortcut of alt control i and here you this is linked and you want to keep it linked that way it's just gonna you adjust one it's gonna adjust the other one accordingly into scale and for me my image is portrait so i want the width to be five if your image is landscape then you want the height to be five so i'm just going to change my width to five and it's automatically going to adjust my height to about seven inches. I'm not going to worry about getting exactly seven, but you do want to make it a, make it according to whatever lands or whatever I don't know what to call orientation your image is. So portrait width is five, landscape your height is going to be five. And it's important that you understand those and remember those. And you'll just press OK. And your image is going to get really tiny, especially if your image, again, was 50-some inches tall. To zoom it in, remember we go Control-0, and that's just going to get us full scale. Some of you, we may lose a little bit of quality depending on how big your image was, like that one being so large. Um, compressing those pixels, I lose a little bit of quality, but it's okay for the purposes of this assignment. Maybe, though, in the future I'd leave it that large and just deal with it in another way. Okay, so the first tool that I want to show you how to do is the elliptical marquee tool to use a selection and then output it to its own selection. So to do this, I am going to come over here to my selection. You guys see the square with the dashed lines? Okay, just press and hold on that or right click. And you're going to see the circle, which is the elliptical marquee tool. And that's the selection tool that we want to use. If at any time you guys have questions, just let me know. I can pause the video. It's okay. So I'm going to get my selection tool. And you'll see I got, 
I have the little crosshairs and now I can just click and drag and create a selection around Sawyer's face. Uh, if I don't want it that big or if I kind of completely mess up, I can always click and redrag a few times, okay? So I want it to be more on their face and not so much their whole body. So try to do that, okay? And you can move once it's drawn. If you get the perfect circle or the perfect oval, you can click in the middle of it and move it to be on this part of their face that you want it to be. Please be careful, some of you, uh, if your images are cutting off the tops of your heads and you're trying to still get an elliptical image, if I were to come up here and drag my tool, this little, let me zoom out a little bit, this little area up here, I mean, you can't make pixels, so it would be a very elaborate, like, cut off on the edge. So keep that in mind when you are dragging and clicking so that we don't go off the edge of the picture. And these images that you're editing should be taken by somebody else, so they should have the cap you should have plenty of space to work with, okay? All right, it's super simple what we do from here. All you do is you say control C, file, new, okay? Before you edit anything, the really nice thing that Photoshop does is it's going to try to create a document that's about how many pixels you might need in order to paste it what you just copied. So here, we're not going to change anything going on right here. The width, the height, yours might look a little bit different than mine. Keep it at 72 pixels per inch, and I'll explain what that means in just a minute. But what is important is we want to rename this right here where it says Untitled 1 or Untitled or whatever. You're just going to name this the elliptical image or elliptical, whatever you might need to know in order to understand that that is what we are working with for this image, okay? 72 pixels per inch. It is what it says, that's how many pixels per inch there are. 72 is ideal for websites. So like I was saying, the 72 pixels per inch, that is ideal for a website. We, if I were to be wanting, if I were wanting to print this image, then I'd want it to be 300 pixels per inch or more. Um, having more on a website to the naked eye, you're not really going to see a huge difference. The difference you'll see is in your download speed because each image has to be downloaded before you can view it on a site. And if it's 300 pixels per inch, it's going to take a little bit longer for that image to load onto your website. So keeping it at 72 pixels per inch is ideal for a website. Keep the color mode RGB color and the background contents. This is really important. It needs to be transparent. So if your background says white, which I'm looking at some computer screens and that's what I'm seeing, you need to click on this. You have to actually scroll down and then you need to select transparent. And then you're going to say create. And it's going to be really small, and that's fine. It's going to be about the size that your selection was. And all you need to come in and do is say Control v to paste. Control v is in Victor to paste. And it's a little small, so you can Control 0 to zoom it in. It's OK that it looks like this. That's not a big deal. We're going to say File, Save As, leave it the elliptical image, the important thing here, though, is that you save it from a Photoshop image to a PNG. This is going to keep the transparent background there. And that's how I can get it to look like just a circle and not have a square around it. If I were to save it as a JPEG, which is not what you want to do for this case, then I would keep the, the image would stay a square and have a white background. So save it as a PNG. Make sure you save it in whatever folder. So if you need to go to your H drive, um, please do that. And make sure you save it in whatever folder is going to be, you're going to be able to find it. Don't leave it in your downloads because things get lost. Go ahead and say save. It's going to say it's a large file size. Fastest saving, just say OK. And then you can close out of this image. It's going to ask if you want to save 
the PSD file, if you plan on not making any more edits to it, then I would say, no, don't save. And it's gone forever. Unless you redo it. So that is how to do the elliptical marquee tool. I'm going to actually have to make a new video because I'm not going to be able to fit everything. So I'm going to pause my video and we'll pick back up with the feathering tool next.